Radioactivity is an entirely random process that depends only on the number of radioactive nuclei present in the sample. The more radioactive nuclei there are in the sample, the more radioactive the sample is. So the activity is proportional to the number of nuclei remaining in the sample. Let me write down the symbols for activity and undecayed nuclei. So these two are proportional to each other. The constant of proportionality between them is called the decay constant. We give it the symbol lambda. You can think of this decay constant as the probability of one of these nuclei decaying. To acknowledge the fact that the number of radioactive nuclei is actually decreasing, we need to put a minus sign in front. So here's the first equation for radioactivity. Think about the definition of activity, disintegration of nuclei per second. In other words, it is the change in the number of nuclei in a unit of time. This rate of change can be written as dn by dt. I'm going to use integration here, which is not required for A-level physics, but it will help us derive the exponential decay equation. Before we can do anything, we have to put n with dn and bring dt to the other side. I've taken the constant out of the integral as it does not depend on time. Integrating 1 over n gives natural log of n. Integrating with respect to t gives minus lambda times t plus a constant. We have to find out what the constant is by thinking about the initial condition when time is zero. That is when none of the nuclei in the sample has decayed. So we have the full initial number of nuclei. We can represent the initial number of nuclei by n subscript 0. Substituting, we have natural log of n0. This cancels, so the constant c is just natural log of n0. Now that we've figured out what the constant is, we can put it back into our original equation. The equation now becomes this. Log identity tells us that subtracting two logs is just the same as dividing one by the other. Taking exponential on both sides, we end up with this. This is the second radioactivity equation, the exponential decay equation. For A-level physics, you do need to know how to use this equation. And now you also know where it comes from.